there was a date that happened on August the 6th. And uh, we'll, we'll use guy and girl as our, our two people for this conversation. Girl was not happy with the guy because he was apparently betting on the game. And I wanted to play a video in just a second. And this is her complaining about her date. Now, if I had a nickel on this one, we'd be doing really well off. But I just wanted to get your reaction on if this is fair or foul in the way in which this girl is going about this, how her date ended. All right. Okay. I went on a first date last night with this guy and I've actually been excited to go out with this guy. I think he's so good looking and there was like good conversation. He's actually really smart and he's going to like school and stuff. I don't know. He seemed hardworking from like what I could tell. And I don't know, he was giving me a couple green lights. I was like, I'm into it. I'm, I'm kind of into you. Like, let's see how it is in person. So we go out for dinner and drinks and he was doing all the right things, opening every single door for me, like picks me up, telling me the time, telling me the place that we're going out to eat. I'm like, okay, I like this guy. Like, I like this. And then we get out to dinner and he, he literally is betting on DraftKings, babe, while we're eating dinner. Like he's like sitting there looking at his bets that he made from the freaking game. No, 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 no. Why are we doing that? I don't like, I don't know. Maybe I could justify it if like you just like quickly look like, mm, did I win? Did I lose? Whatever. No, he's like sitting there watching it the whole time. Then like texting his friend about like how he's like, he won this one and how his friend like bet this. And we are, am I like invisible? Am I not here right now? Like, are we just like at a sporting event? Because I'm confused. He then like just randomly like we're like eating and I'm literally in the middle of talking and he goes, yes. What? He's like, oh, my bat went through. Are you kidding me? What, what's going on here? What's happening? What do you guys think? Fair or foul? I think she is fair on a first date to complain about that. Now, Hutton, you may disagree. If she's really into this guy the way she just talked about being into him, she could have also tried to participate. Oh, who'd you bet on tonight? What are we watching? What's the score? How are you doing? And then involved herself in the betting and maybe made it more fun for both of them. But I think probably on the very first date, he should put his phone away. Uh, he had his phone out because he's not interested in her. I don't blame him based on the vocal fry and the fact she never <laughs> shuts up. So... And the tan lines. Yeah, it was very annoying. Uh, totally fair well, by this guy. Fortunately for us, DraftKings actually he found like, this guy. He goes to school and like maybe works hard. I think she said at one point. Yeah. Dr DraftKings found this guy and he actually had a response back to her. Okay, so I guess it's time I tell my side of the story. I'm the guy that went out on a date and was gambling on it, quote unquote. Um, but let me clarify, I was not gambling during it i had already placed these bets prior and was just hoping them to see uh, hoping to see them go through the goal post right so i had a couple parlays and a straight bet the last thing i needed was mookie bets over one and a half bases which is a lot come on mookie bets baby so we're on this date and yeah you know what she said was accurate i opened doors for her i told her where we were going what time i picked her up i was being a gentleman the whole nine yards as as you know every man should so I'm doing my thing and Mookie Betts is 0 for 3. Um, and I'm, you know, his last at bat happens and I'm like, mm -mm. I notice it. I notice his last at bat's up. So I'm watching, I'm watching. Out of the corner of my eye, she's talking to me while I'm kind of like looking over and it's all white noise. It is straight up white noise. I, I, I can't focus on I what she's saying. I'm locked into this, to this at bat. So what does he do? He hits a home run. Oh, my God. I lose it. I'm like, yeah, of course I am. I just made hundreds of dollars on this dude, several hundred dollars. So I'm like, this is amazing. Paid for the date. And quite honestly, when she walked out of that house, she was sunburned to a crisp. It wasn't even about paying for that date anymore. It was winning her some of this because she needed that. Showed some aloe into the camera. Yeah. Uh, I... I retract my previous statement after hearing from and this guy. And I had guy. not seen that clip. That the, the, the guy won me over. Uh, way more likable with his explanation yeah. than hers. He's and into her, he would be talking the, to her. The explanation for sports fans makes so much sense that you've got the end of this parlay that all it is is yes. one at-bat from Mookie Betts needing two bases. 
Um, now, could he have told her what he was doing and then she gets involved in it? I don't know that she no, se- he, seemed he, he interested can't get a enough word in. he can't to, get a word to want to do that. Yeah, so probably not. And uh, good burn on the sunburn also. Good burn by him on that one. I, I, I like this guy. Yeah, I just thought it was interesting because I, I saw this story and then that was well done. We were just, I'm glad you brought yeah, that to our attention. Well, I mean, we were reading about the the Dodgers Padres series, and I was thinking, well, I mean, maybe it wasn't the exact game they're accusing the Dodgers of grip stealing, but I mean, if th- this happened the night before that game, and uh, Mookie hit a grand slam in the other one as well, so you know, good for this guy. He was able to pay for the date. I once, I think you guys were at the game. I once pushed a date back three hours because the Titans Miami game kept going uh, into oh, weather yeah. delay after weather delay. And fortunately, we were live on air that day. yeah, fortunately, I was able to give the excuses like, "Hey, I'm technically working," even though I'm, you know, really wasn't. But it's uh, watching sports is working in my line of work is how I view it. It is, Davey, well done. Thank you. That was good. That, I, that guy won me over. I, you know, uh, it's it's not normal that the the guy on the date wins me over and not the girl, but. It was the guy who won me over today. 